done. It's just that I have to get him stuck on here. And uh, today I'm going to be working on animations and working on the story thingy, which I will tell you about really soon. I'll tell you about what the mysterious project I'm doing for the channel soon. But I'm not at all prepared. Or I mean, I know what's going to happen. I just don't have anything. I don't have as many resources as I need yet. So I'm going to be working on that for a lot of today. I'm working on CS50 and all sorts of stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, today is going to be pretty um, exciting and I don't think I have a lot to do. Uh, it is, I think it's, yeah, it's Monday. So I'm currently um, not sure about what we're going to do today, but we, we might go out to the park or something like that. I'm submitting some stuff to CS50. I've done the work for week one and two and week zero, but I submitted that yesterday. So I'm going to be submitting that stuff uh, to um, the people to grade it and to the CS50 staff to grade it and stuff like that. CS50, if you guys didn't know that, is Harvard's intro to, some, uh, intro to computer science class for people that aren't computer science majors, um, which is really cool. I started taking it like, what, two, three years ago um, when I was really little. And every year I've been progressively getting a little further and I'm aiming to actually complete the course this year. Um, so yeah, I've already got uh, three weeks done. The link in the description uh, to where you can check it out. I'm taking CS50X, which is the online version on edX. So you can definitely go check that out because it's really cool and I really love the course. I also did an interview with Professor David Malin, who teaches uh, CS50X. So there'll be a link in, and CS50. He, he teaches both of them. So there'll be a link in the description to where you can check out that interview. It's one of my favorite ones we've ever done, and I'm really proud of it. It's over on my interview channel, That's a Great Question, which if you're not subscribed to, you totally should go subscribe to it because it's really cool, and that's where all my interviews will be from now on. So you won't be seeing them on this channel. So you should go check it out if you like my interviews and you want to see more. The assignment that I'm submitting right now is just to write a program that uh, says hello, comma, world, mm. um, which was relatively simple. Um, what language? And C, C plus, plus, no, C plus plus, not C plus, C plus plus, I don't know, there's two of them. Submitted, I did it. So, um, uh, you might remember the other day where we yesterday. did the, yeah, yesterday, where we did the black snake of fearment. This time, we're going to make it out of snails. Yes, yeah, so we've got all our snails. Yeah. And we've got all of the sugar, mm -hmm. right? Table sugar. Are you trying to show the front of the box? Yeah, let's show them. Snails. Uh, Derek Mueller from uh, Veritasium mm -hmm. made these, invented these. And you can get, well, there'll be a link in the description where you can order some. They're actually really fantastic. I think we did a video, no, we haven't done the video yet on read the review and unboxing stuff. And we we haven't posted it, but they'll be over on Bite Side. We right? have done... Uh, Two whole collections, but we have destroyed them both. So our idea is to make that black snake, but out of snail. Right. So Cooper loves these things. He loves looking up different molecules and making different things and, and seeing what he can get. And like, look at this. You might remember the other one. It gets so hard. Mm -hmm. I did come back. I need Yes, yeah, so we've got one of the little stick and ball kits to put together, and it's kind of hard for Cooper to do. And you also, and to make a wad, you have to go. <laughs> it's hard on the other one, but on this one, what holds them all together, Cooper? Yeah, yeah, because on this one, you just have to grab grab two of these white things, and then. What makes them stick together? Um. Okay, so oh, this little white thing. You see this little flat part? Mm-hmm. Inside of there, there's a magnet. So all, all these flat parts like this are magnet. So so you can see like this. So they both combine, and and they're magnets. So so when you have to put it in, you have to combine them to put it in. Yeah. Leave it out. All right, so these are all of the components of our sugar. We haven't made, we're going to make the sugar molecule later in the right shape and the right combination. But Cooper, here's your challenge. Uh -huh. Okay, I want you to take all of these ingredients, mm -hmm. the molecules that we have here, mm -hmm. or the atoms that we have here, mm -hmm. and I want you to make as much water as you can. As much water? Yep. And then okay. let's see what's left over when we make water. Okay, and let's see how many waters I can make. One. Yep. One water. So we started out with 12 carbons, 22 hydrogens, and 11 oxygens in our pile so, here. So two water. All right, so this says we take our sugar, C12, H22O11, mm -hmm. and it turns into what? What did it say? Um, 12? 
12 what? 12 C? Yep, 12 carbons, which is what we've got here. And then what's this? Um, 11 8. 11 what? 11 2. What does it say? The whole thing. Um, H2O. H2O. 11 H2O's. Can you count how many waters we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11. 11. So 11 waters and 12 carbons. Mm -hmm. And so that's what happens when we combust the snake, or when we combust the sugar, when we burn it, mm -hmm. and it burns and there's no extra oxygen coming in, we end up exactly with that, right? Mm -hmm. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. And then sometimes if there's like, grab that oxygen right there. Yeah. Oh, we don't, we'd have to have, we have to do an extra one. If oxygen is available, it makes the CO2. You want to make the CO2 molecule, it, you yeah. got to have the double bonds. Double bonds? Yes. Yeah. Two of them. Yeah, two double bonds, so four things. So if there's some oxygen available while it's burning, mm -hmm. then it'll make a cool little, some, some of this carbon will turn into CO2. Right? You want to make one? I'll make one and you make one. How about that? Okay. There's mine. You make yours right there. Oh, is it? So no, the double bond. Oh, no, no, just, yeah, I'm just saying we're going to add the oxygen. You don't need that carbon. You need a double bond here. Um, just a double bond? Yep, just a double bond. What does CO2 do? I don't know. you remember? Is CO2 a solid, a liquid, or a gas? Um, carbon dioxide. It is a gas. That's right. And so that makes it light and fluffy. The, uh, somebody was nice enough to point out that, that we put the uh, sodium bicarbonate, like the baking soda, we mix it with the sugar, and it was the reaction of that that created the, the CO2 that caused the snake to be all fluffy. And I think probably like in the presence of oxygen, when you do this combustion, some of these carbons are actually going to turn into uh, uh, carbon dioxide as well if there's oxygen available. Where there's not oxygen available, they stay as loose carbons and you end up with the snake, right? Mm -hmm. What do you think, Cooper? So that's a cool way to reinforce our uh, male chemistry study, right? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Good job, buddy. I want to make it out of this. Coop science. Ah! I have a lot of trash keys in my room, um, which means like anything from old kangaroo mm -hmm. things. I think I made her as like four to a box of earplugs. Um, so we're going to go ahead and sort through the stuff that is in the drawers of my desk or on my desk and make sure uh, we're still packing and pack some of the things that I want to keep and probably get rid of a lot more things. Yep. So, so grab the thing, tell us what it is, and then tell me whether we're keeping it or not. I will start with this. So the first thing is, I think this is a kangaroo. I remember I used to take gymnastics when I was really little, and we had these pizza nights where... Ooh. Oh, no, don't worry, there's a blanket. There's a blanket. There's a blanket. Um, so we would have these pizza where we got pizza from like some pizza restaurants that I probably shouldn't have been eating at, uh -huh. and we made crafts. And one of the crafts that I, that we had was these porcelain, I think it's porcelain, okay. porcelain jar thingies, and ceramics. Ceramics, yeah, these ceramic jar thingies, which for some reason is really. I, th I remember saying that these reminded me of the jars that ancient Egyptians stored their organs in. They do look a little like that. <laughs> so obviously, it's a very pleasant child to have around. So we painted these, and I actually remember thinking of all the color theory for this thing and making it. And it contains, currently contains, I remember I had the like strongest urge ever to put an entire dollar and cents in it. Mm. Um, I'm gonna keep a dollar, but probably we shouldn't keep this. Right. Oh, apparently a cereal crumb too. That's nice. Okay, and then we'll go. Uh, and then not keep files, okay. Uh, we have my crystals, which you have to keep. This is my big amethyst. Looks like it did out of a geode. Uh, I don't know. We bought it at some mall. Remember that mall with the big Ferris wheel in the middle that Mommy and Cooper went on? That was somewhere. In New York? Yeah. Like Times Square? Yeah, I think it was yeah. Times Square. Yeah, okay. I there. Right. I don't I say. Bought, I wanted to buy an amber, but they didn't, so I settled for an amethyst, which yep. is my second. Which is my favorite gem, because amber's not a gem. Uh -huh. And then we have my sea salt lampy thingy. Mom, what is this exactly? You bought it for me. Yeah, it's a sea salt lamp. It's a sea salt lamp. What is it supposed to do? It's pretty. It's supposed to make the air cleaner. It's what? make the air cleaner, and, and it's also pretty. pretty. Like very nice. Okay. I like it. It's pretty. I saw them at Whole Foods. Can you lick it? You can. I have. 
Is it salty? Yeah, because it's salt. Of course it's salty. <laughs> it's me. Like, like, like me. Himalayan sea salt. Yeah, thing. yeah. Himalayan it's sea salt lamp. like me. And then here's a candle. Alright, what's next? Here's a candle. Hey, I can hear that. No, my candles. I love candles. Here's a button from Disneyland. This is, ooh, from Zoo Camp. <gasps> that was from kindergarten. <laughs> it's so small. I was actually thinking. I was actually thinking about Zoo Camp today. Do we want to keep this? Mm, probably not, but it's cool. Yep. Um, and this we have to keep because it's for my fourth birthday at Disneyland. Okay. Uh, so let me tell the story first because Zoo Camp reminded. I was thinking about it today. Okay. Is because um, my RL best friend who I've known for seven years now is going to do master's camp this summer, so I won't be able to talk to her very much. And I just discovered that two of my online friends are also going to summer camp, so I probably won't have very much conversation thing. And I was thinking, well, I want to go to a summer camp, and then I remembered zoo camp was a thing, which is really cool. I'll tell you what zoo camp is too, because this is a long tangent. You're um, going to VidCon summer camp. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, um, zoo camp is this thing they had at our local, I mean, say the name of the zoo, Denver Zoo. They had this camp, I think it goes up through 12, um, to not, yeah, through not 12th grade, through 12, yes, 12 age. Um, and you would kind of sit around and sing songs and go see the, we would walk around and go see the animals. And if you've ever wondered what the boxes, they have a lot of boxes just kind of around the Denver Zoo. Uh, those are for zoo camp. You open them and they have like skulls and stuff in them and we get to look at them and go, wow, and have a lot of memories. You love zoo camp. Yeah, you sure. I did. And okay, let's do a couple more things. Yeah. You're, you're stalling, stalling, cleaning up your room. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, can you make this? Kitty Bank goes? Uh, no, Kitty Bank stays. It goes with us, honey. Oh, yes. Do you this... know where the bottom of Kitty Bank is? I don't. Mm. Does Kitty Bank want it? Oh, yeah. Kitty Bank needs battery. Can you put a, a coin on Kitty Bank? I have this, this serious coin that I found. I'm not entirely sure what it is. <laughs> I like Kitty Bank. Kitty like Bank can go with us. Donut Cat, this is from when I first met Gracie for the Mommy and Gracie show IRL. When I met her for the first time, we opened blind boxes together. And, and where, did these, where did these blind boxes come from? Japan. Oh yes, that was from Japan. No, that was that was a blind box from Japan. That yeah, we brought them back from Japan. Yeah, that wasn't from her. Yep. Okay. I think I have something similar that I got with her. This is my nail polish. So, well, no, you may have opened that. Yeah, you may have worked it. Opened we, it, but we, we brought it. Oh, yeah, we brought it and we opened it there. Yeah, am I keeping this? Yes, keep my nail polish. Is that, is that that from yeah, Pharmaca? Okay. I don't think it is. It's relatively new. Okay. All right. Uh, Smells strong. We'll do you want to keep, keep going? Do you want to keep going through things? Yeah. And so we can do the best thing for last. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, uh, a nickel bus. Okay. Yeah, nickel bus. Keep nickel bus. Where did nickel bus come from? Nickel bus came from Japan. Where in Japan? From the Ghibli Museum. It actually came from the studio Ghibli Museum. Yeah. It's super cool. Here's a train that used to be on an old on a bag that I don't have that I still have, but doesn't have anything in it. And then these are my various keychains. I'm gonna scooch. The frog guts out of the way. Um, I like this charm. I lost what it was on, but I like the charm, so keep it. Keep that, okay. And then, I think just keep my jewelry, because I like my jewelry. What is this? Oh, yeah, this Oh, I see it's broken. Um, don't question that. This is where I have a strong. Keep it. Keep? Yes, this is a hair tie. I'm going to put this all on this thing, and so you can put this thing in there. You want to keep all of this? Yes. Yeah, when I find random jewelry, that's where I put it. Okay. I know this. I remember getting this. I got okay. this. Yeah. Okay. It looks like it's from Old Navy. Yeah. It's not from Old Navy. It's from Jurassic Park. It's like Cooper's Free. Right. Right. Camp. right. Okay, there's a piece of uh, wolf fur in there, I yes, think. Yes, there is. Oh, that is so a piece this is, of... Whose fur is this? Uh, Kenai. Kenai. There's oh. a really great wolf rescue center here in Colorado. Mm -hmm. Preston got to go. We'll put a link. And pet the wolf. In the, in the description. I'll links in the description. To the video <laughs> of Presley meeting. Presley got kissed by a wolf. It was pretty cool. Yeah, his name is Kenai, and I love him. And these are silvers. They're from the Tooth Fairy. And tooth Fairy, so one ounce, of silver rounds. Yes, how much do you think silver is? I, I don't know my friends keep asking right me this over and over again. How much is the silver worth? Ooh, this is actually really it, cool. It fluctuates. This would be roughly the equivalent of a silver coin from a fantasy world, wouldn't it? No problem. <gasps> That's cool! Haha! -ha. Yeah, they're pure, pure silver. Okay. They're pure silver? I well, thought they were like 70%. 70 no, no, they're like 999. 0. 0.999. Yeah. Okay, what, what in the world is that? I made this also gymnastics camp. Okay, you can it can go. go. It's another gymnastics camp. <laughs> yeah, oh, I All think right. I burned part of it for some reason. Yeah. Wait, what does it say about a Presley? Oh, this is. Uh, Hannah? Yeah, okay, so apparently I made, that with, I, made, I made that with someone in Hannah. I don't remember this person in Hannah. Sorry, okay. person named Hannah. Your middle name's Hana, so... No, be. I don't think... Well, I know I only have one A in my middle name. Alright, alright. These are more keychains, but... Ooh. Not keep? No, yes keep. Not keep. 
No, keep all any at least in the in my jewelry. I think There's most earrings. of earrings. You can wear the earrings because none of them match. Um, if you find a matching pair. How long do you think we have? Because I do want to do this. Are you just, yeah, you can do that real quick and then we'll do the rest off camera. Yes, please. Okay, this is what a majority of people judge me for having is a collection of dead things. So I will tell the story of these frog things first because they are the only ones with the story. Um, is I was doing dissections at um, my homeschool co-op with my friend, and I asked if I could keep the frogs. And then we were proceeded to have an argument over, like not like a bad uh, argument, but like a fake argument over who got to keep the frogs. A discourse? A discourse. <laughs> not a discourse. Discourse would be more serious than that. Um, we were kind of talking about who got to keep the frogs, and we decided that we would cut the frog in half and keep half of it. And then it turned out there was a frog that they didn't dissect, so we proceeded to get that frog and cut it in half, and we each kept half of it. And since there's so much formaldehyde on the frog, we just decided to put it in jars of water. So my teacher said that the formaldehyde would keep it preserved for long enough. So these are my jars of dead frogs. This is found in the backyard, and this is frog guts in a water bottle because I couldn't find another jar. Interesting. I didn't even know those were in here. I did. Oh, um, we should we should put uh, Sharky in here. Yeah, in my corner of dead things. It's my favorite dead thing. Do you thing know where jar. that is? I think it's yeah, on the. it's on the. It's in the bite-sized shelf. Yeah, it's in set two. Studio. Studio two. Okay, I think that's about enough of this for today. All right, so we're gonna keep we'll keep packing. We're gonna clean this desk out. We just wanted to share a couple of precious memories. Nice. You look at this one too, which I found yesterday. No. Oh, this is my uh, princess autograph book. Oh, that's cool. I want to go get another autograph book because there is this rumor that every single Mickey Mouse and stuff have to have the same signature. And I want to see how mm -hmm. different they are. So these are all Presley's Disney signatures, and I think picture. your uh, Bippity Boppity Boutique is in here. Oh, I was so angry. I don't no, know why I hate. Were. No, yes, I was. You remember, I was like crying. You were sick. Oh, I see. Yeah, we, we, we had swine flu. Swine flu and went to Disneyland <laughs> to infect that the world. That must have been good. Um, who's Fifi? Someone signed this as. Oh, I was writing names. Oh, were you signed it a bunch? I signed it as friends, I think. Mm -hmm. So we have Connor, Kid, Mom, Fifi. Freshly asleep in her mm -hmm. cat face makeup. I want to do that again. She passed out. I call it. Um,. Oh, there's a drawing I did. Another well, some bippity boppity boutique. I was sick, so I looked very angry and sad the whole time. We're gonna keep that. Okay, cool. So we're gonna pack, and then we'll move on, and we'll clean the room and paint. I'm trying to get to I can paint this wall because yes. we also let Presley draw on her walls when she, we first moved in, until all of the walls just had drawing all over them. This is the last one. I think this still has a ton of writing on it. Yeah. Like so a lot of writing. I need to get here so I can paint, and so we're gonna clear up, clear out the desk. Yeah. Yeah, like there's fire. Okay. Why don't you wrap us up for the day so we can yeah. work on cleaning up the room? <laughs> okay. Do you want to do a pan of what's going on in here? Right? <laughs> I can introduce you to all these things, including the low battery warning on my surface. <laughs> I was drawing on there. All right, get us out of here. I don't know. I feel the need to clap. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure to press the subscribe button as well as hit the little bell so that you can get notifications whenever I post a video so you can be early and see them right when they come out. Thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!